Queens College, located in Flushing in the borough of Queens in New York City, is one of the senior colleges of the City University of New York. It is also the fifth oldest and one of the largest senior colleges of the 23 institutions of higher learning of the City University of New York. The college's 77-acre campus is located along Kisner Boulevard. Queens College opened in 1937. History before Queen's College was established in 1937, the site of the campus was home to the Jamaica Academy, a one-room schoolhouse built in the early 19th century, where Walt Whitman once worked as teacher. The building was located on Flushing Jamaica Road. Jamaica Academy became public in 1844. In 1909, the New York Parental School, a home for troubled boys, opened on the land surrounding the future site of Queens College and incorporated Jamaica Academy on its campus. Buildings such as Jefferson Hall were used as both dormitories and classrooms. In 1934, the New York Parental School was investigated amid rumors of abuse. The school was shut down and students were transferred to local public schools. A few months later, the grounds were turned over to the city. The city planned to house 500 mental patients from Randall's Island Hospital, who were temporarily displaced by the construction of the Tribora Bridge. Meanwhile, County Judge Charles S. Colden appointed and chaired a committee to assess the feasibility of opening a free college in Queens. In September 1935, the committee recommended the establishment of such a college. Mayor LaGuardia backed the recommendation and pushed for the free college's creation. In March 1937, the Board of Education designated the site of the former parental school to be the future location of Queen's College. Paul Clapper, former dean of the School of Education at City College of New York, was appointed the new college's president. The college opened in September 1937 with 21 members on its teaching staff and 400 students in its inaugural freshman class. The college campus grew as buildings were constructed and enrollment increased. In 1958, 10,754 students were enrolled, more than ever before. By 1976, enrollment was at 20,243 but changes beyond growth were in store for Queen's College. In 1970, CUNY adopted the controversial policy of open admissions, which guaranteed a place at CUNY for any high school graduate in New York, regardless of traditional criteria like grades or test scores. The program was intended to offer college education to more New York City residents, in particular those of color. But open admissions did not seem to affect Queen's College as much as it did other schools. A year after its implementation, only 10% of its student body was black or Puerto Rican, according to the newly appointed college president, Dr. Joseph S. Murphy. By 1976, other concerns overtook the college as New York City faced a crippling financial crisis. CUNY's policy of free tuition was revoked. The overall CUNY budget was cut by $135 million, and CUNY Chancellor Robert Kibbe of CUNY demanded that Queen's College slash its budget by 15%. Some faculty members resigned in protest. The New York Times reported in December 1976 that Queen's College, considered the jewel in the university's crown, has been particularly hard hit by the cuts, which have gone to the heart of the faculty. All hiring and building on campus was halted. By 1984, the student enrollment had declined to 15,000. But with the $175 million building program in place by 1986 for the college's 50th anniversary, enrollments were expected to rise and the college was beginning to recover from the financial crisis of the 1970s. In addition, the student body, in accordance with the mission of the short-lived open admissions program, had grown much more diverse and college faculty were trained to understand Latin American culture and how to teach American literature to non-American students. By that time, former Queen's College President Dr. Joseph S. 
Murphy was now the CUNY Chancellor. In the 1990s, the college attracted high-profile researchers to its faculty, including the virologist Luc Montagnier, and established a law program. Under President Alan Sessoms, the college underwent such growth but also some missteps including the highly publicized inability to fund the planned AIDS research center that Dr. Montagnier was hired to lead. The college campus continued improving its facilities. Under a $1 billion CUNY-wide improvement program, Queen's College's power to make a hall was given a $57 million renovation, begun in 2000. By 2014, student enrollment had neared its former height of 20,000 students, half of which come from minority backgrounds. Dr. Felix V. Matos Rodriguez was appointed president of Queen's College by the CUNY Board of Trustees in 2014. Involvement in civil rights Queen's College students were active participants in the civil rights movements of the 1960s, including the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. The most well-known student activist was Andrew Goodman, who was slain in Mississippi in 1964 with two other young men, James Earl Cheney and Michael H. Schwerner. All three were trying to register African Americans to vote in the South. Schwerner and Cheney were on the organizing staff of CORE. Goodman was a Freedom Summer volunteer. The three activists were stopped and arrested for allegedly driving over the speed limit on a Mississippi road in 1964. Upon being brought into the sheriff's department and later released, the three young men were stopped by two carloads of KKK members on a remote rural road. The men approached their car, then shot and killed all three young men. The Cheney Goodman Schwerner Clock Tower of Rosenthal Library, a highly visible borough landmark, is named in their honor. In February 2011, Queen's College inherited the personal collection of the late James Foreman. The collection, along with other civil rights leaders' collections, is available for research at the Queen's College Civil Rights Archive. A special program on February 17, 2011 included a presentation by the Honorable Julian Bond for Black History Month, as well as a formal announcement of the acquisition. Degrees Queen's College is a liberal arts college that offers undergraduate degrees in 78 majors, master's degrees in 24 departments, 20 doctoral degrees through the CUNY Graduate Center, and a number of advanced certificate programs. It is also one of seven participating schools in the CUNY Honors College. The Department for Continuing Education offers non-credit courses, campus and facilities. The 77-acre campus, located off Kisner Boulevard, is on one of the highest points in the borough. Six of the original Spanish-style buildings dating back to the early 20th century still stand, such as Jefferson Hall, which was built in 1900. The college has since expanded to include over 40 buildings including the main classroom building, Powder Maker Hall, rebuilt in 2003 and named after the college's distinguished anthropologist Hortense Powdermaker. The college is embarking on a variety of campus beautification projects. Queen's College is the only CUNY college that participates in Division II sports. A child development center, staffed by professionals, offers inexpensive child care services to students with children. The college is also home to the Godwin Turnback Museum, which houses more than 3,500 works of art. The college holds courses at several off-campus locations, including the 43rd Street Extension Center in Manhattan and the CUNY Center for Higher Education in downtown Flushing, which opened in late 2003. The college has a low-rise 506-bed dormitory on campus called the Summit at Queen's College, which opened for the fall semester of 2009. Queen's College is one of only three CUNY campuses with dorm facilities. The campus maintains the Benjamin Rosenthal Library. The library's Cheney Schwerner Goodman Clock Tower was named after the three civil rights workers who were murdered in 1964, including Andrew Goodman, a Queen's College student. 
Built in 1988, the library contained 752,900 books, 32,600 print and electronic materials, the electronic archives, a collection of multimedia materials in its media center and an art center. The library is also home to the papers of Robert Morris and the Louis Armstrong archives. The college is home to the Aaron Copland School of Music located in the Music Building, constructed in 1991. The building houses the Music Library and the 490-seat Lafrac Concert Hall. CUNY School of Law was previously located to the west of the campus of Queen's College, while it was always a separate administrative unit of CUNY. The building itself read CUNY School of Law at Queen's College, and was once a building for the Department of Education. The CUNY Board of Trustees approved plans for the law school to be relocated to Two Court Square in Long Island City. With the first semester of classes held in 2012, Queen's College has since taken over the former CUNY Law Building for future use. Townsend Harris High School is located at the edge of the Queen's College campus. The owl, a symbol of knowledge and wisdom, hangs above the entrance to Jefferson Hall, a stella on the facade of Remsen Hall. Many of Queen's College's original Spanish-style buildings are still in use today. Clapper Hall opened in 1955 as the college's first library. Named after the college's first president, Paul Clapper, it was renovated in 1992 after the construction of Rosenthal Library. A view of the New York City skyline from the QC Quad, Hortense Powder Maker Hall is considered smart because it is fully wireless, each classroom has both audio and visual equipment, and because it is soundproof. Godwin, Turnback Museum Since 1957 Queen's College has been collecting works of art. These collections were initially used for teaching purposes and were meant to serve the college community. The collections were eventually brought together with the establishment of the Godwin Turnback Museum in 1980. The museum is now a part of the Kupferberg Center for the Arts which has joined together all the works of art on campus in collaborations of visual, performance, dance, and theater arts. In the early 1990s, the museum was downsized due to budget cuts. Over the next few years, the college kept it open but on a reduced budget and staff. In 2001, however, the college hired Amy Winter as director of the museum. To address the concerns of the museum, Winter turned to MAP. As a result, not only did the museum improve their facilities but they increased their collections-related staff as well. Today, the museum is an integral part of the Queen's College community and it continues to serve not only the faculty and staff but the community at large. The museum is located in Clapper Hall and maintains a fine collection of 6,000 pieces of art, as well as artifacts from all cultures dating from ancient times to the modern day. These include works by Rembrandt van Rijn, Pablo Picasso, Henri Matisse, and Georges Braque. The museum also hosts a series of exhibitions each year. These exhibitions and events are open to Queen's College students, faculty, staff and the public. Residents in 2009, Queen's College was the third school in the CUNY system to open a residence hall. The Summit, a low-rise 506-bed dormitory, is located in the middle of the campus. Queen's College is still primarily a commuter school, having only 500 of its over 18,000 students living on campus. The Summit Hall has earned a silver certificate from the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, an organization that certifies buildings to have met environmentally sustainable construction standards. Queen's College's residence hall offers study lounges on each floor, wireless internet, laundry services, and a state-of-the-art fitness center. Apartments also include kitchens with full-size appliances, as well as dining areas, microwaves, couches, entertainment stands, and music practice rooms. The summit has attracted students from around the country and the world to Queen's College especially aspiring artists looking to attend the internationally renowned Aaron Copland School of Music. 
although it remains a commuter school. The college has become more dynamic as a result of the construction of the summit, offering students a traditional college experience at an affordable public university. In addition to the summit, many students rent apartments off campus in the surrounding neighborhoods, academic centers and institutes. The college is home to many centers which focus their research on various pressing social issues facing the local communities, students, faculty and the many ethnic and religious groups of the Queens area. Asian American Asian Institute works to integrate the talents of individual faculty and the resources of other CUNY institutes to create a community of scholars to help focus their energies on Asia and the Asian American experience. Asian American Center, dedicated to community-oriented research that analyzes the multicultural diaspora experience of Asians in global and local communities. John D. Calandra Italian American Institute, fosters higher education among Italian Americans and ensures that the legacy of the Italian American experience is documented and preserved for future generations. This is accomplished through research, counseling, lectures, symposia, and administering an exchange program with CUNY and Italian universities. Center for the Biology of Natural Systems conducts research that analyzes real-world environmental and resource problems and their policy implications. Recent projects include a study of the impact of air pollution on asthma sufferers in the South Bronx and a continuing examination of the health workers involved in the cleanup of Ground Zero after the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Center for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies initiates, supports, and coordinates the teaching of Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies. The center also promotes Byzantine and Neo-Hellenic scholarship and publications, and relates academic research and teaching to the needs of the Greek community in Queens and elsewhere. Center for Jewish Studies Through outreach and research, the Center for Jewish Studies serves as a bridge between the academic program and the social community. John Cardinal Newman Club Run by the Catholic Newman Center, this area provides a social environment for all students of all faiths. Center for the Improvement of Education builds relationships between public schools and Queen's College. The Michael Harrington Center for Democratic Values and Social Change promotes public discourse about social issues, advocates for social change, and works in partnerships with others to build a more just and equitable democratic society. The Institute is primarily concerned with the employment, health, and educational needs of economically disadvantaged communities. The Neuroscience Research Center the goal of the center is to enhance the research and education of students at Queen's College through the establishment of programs at both the undergraduate and graduate levels concerning neuroscience. Members of the center have established a five-year NIH MARC program at the College for Minorities in the Biomedical Research Sciences. The faculty at the center have produced over 800 peer-reviewed publications over the past 15 years with nearly 300 in the past five years alone. Since 1990, the center faculty have also received funding for 51 external and 54 internal grants. Queen's College Model United Nations Team, run in conjunction with the Political Science Department. This program provides students the opportunity to explore their interests in the international policy and the United Nations. Queen's Memory Project the Queen's Memory Project, a digital archive which aims to record and preserve contemporary history across the borough of Queen's, is a collaborative effort between Queen's College and Queen's Library that includes digitized materials from the Rosenthal Library's Department of Special Collections, the Center for Ethnic, Racial and Religious Understanding. CERU was created in fall 2009 through a grant from the U.S. Department of Education. CERU is a nonpartisan organization that facilitates cross-cultural engagement. Student life. The college is located in Queens, New York, the most diverse county in the nation. 
Queen's College students represent 120 countries and speak over 60 different native languages. This rich variety has influenced Queen's College's curriculum, research, and outreach programs. Queen's College's cultural diversity is also represented in its clubs and organizations. Queen's has 95 different clubs and organizations, ranging from fraternities, sororities to cultural, religious, technology, and art clubs. Most of the organizations are located within the Student Union Building. To complement the college's educational mission, the Student Union provides various facilities, services, co-curricular activities, and programs. Queen's College Greek Life consists of eight fraternities and seven sororities. Greek membership numbers in the hundreds, with more members in Greek Life than in all the other clubs on campus combined. The Queen's College Greek Life supports a variety of different philanthropies with thousands of dollars in donations to various charitable organizations, as well as thousands of hours of volunteer work. The dining hall is a popular gathering place for Greeks, as is the field directly outside during days with good weather. They participate in throwing events such as Greek Wick, Fall Brawl, and Meet the Greeks, where they showcase their respective organizations, as well as compete for recreation.